Makofi. Your Excellency, Your Excellency the Deputy President, Viongozi wa Dini, Watu wa Elgoe Marakwet, Hamjambo. Salam alaikum. Bona asifiwe. Your Excellency, kwanza nimepata mawaidha mazuri leo kutoka Bishop Dominic. Kwanza ulisema tumshukuru Mungu. Lakini tunataka tumshukuru Mungu kila siku na kila wakati tukiwa manyumbani si kwa hema pekee. Ya pili ulisema yale ambaye yanasumbua Kenya. Corruption, impunity and tribalism. And that is what I think our president is now dealing with. Your Excellency, kwa maneno ya security nataka niwaambie viongozi na wananchi wa Elgeo ya kwamba as the chairman of the National Security Council you the your excellency and as the commander in chief of Kenya Defense Forces you have given us firm instructions on how to deal with the banditry menace in the North Rift in the six counties na mwaka huu we have a different strategy we will not tell you Muliona jana huko Kainuk Muliona huko Baringo Commandant wetu wa GSC wako hapa Elud Zia the CDF and uh, the IG were here on Friday Your Excellency and the people of Elgeo we will deal with the criminals That one you can uh, take it we have firm instructions na beginning this year bunduki ni ya serikali na itakuwa ya serikali hakuna bunduki ya kuchunga ngombe tukikupata unachunga ngombe na bunduki basi usilaumu security sectors mimi professor kindiki the whole membership of national security council we have firm instructions from the president and we have firm instructions as our commander in chief Just your excellency I wanted to help uh, my uh, former uh, my colleague uh, uh, Ichungu and Aaron. Hii maneno ya ya judiciary your excellency is because you have said you will fight with the corruption. And you have said you will fight with the corruption in the legislature, in the national government, in the private sector, in the county government and in the judiciary. The rest of this other group hawajaongea so only the judiciary and i think my very good sister lady justice kome even her predecessors did better at least dr willy mutunga and uh, uh, maraga confessed and are on public that there is corruption in the judiciary She is even unable to do that. It's very unfortunate. And I have the I attended both the function of Dr. Willy Mutunga and the one of Maraga. Her only message is Pitieni Barabara. Your Excellency, the two leaders will agree with me that in the eight years I was the leader of majority and I want the people of Kenya to hear we lost close to 17 cases bills that we have passed both in the senate and the national assembly and the reason why we lost those cases was a very important constitutional principle called public participation so from the lower court to the supreme court they were telling us parliament you must make sure public participation is critical to legislation juzi three bench judge on this housing levy said go back do public participation and then the law will be okay but the same judiciary that over and over and over were telling us and it's true it's in article 
that public participation is central to legislation, a judge in Kisumu is saying, is telling parliament, don't do public participation. And even those lawyers you have seen, I, I look at those lawyers, it was more like a Zimio rally, a Zimio demonstration. You could tell the faces. I think the only senior counsel is, was Kalonzo. There was no senior counsel. There was nobody. You could tell. And, and you also see this corruption in the, in the judiciary is an institution. The Omtata, the brokers, the cartel cannot go to the judiciary without the lawyers providing the conveyance. So your Excellency, even universal health care, housing was in the manifesto of when TNA and URP joined. President Uhuru Kenyatta in 10 years with the deputy president, they were unable even to make amendments, and I can confirm as the leader of majority, to the even NSSF Act, to the NHIF Act. Kibaki could not do transform our country because of court orders. Uhuru Kenyatta, President Uhuru and Deputy President then, President Ruto, could not do it. And somebody has to do it. President Ruto from 1st of January this year, and Your Excellency, I am happy. Be consistent. They want you to leave it and run away. You know, they want you to run away the way Kibaki ran away. They want you to leave it, you run away the way uh, President Wu ran away. You are not talking about the independence of the judiciary. By all actions, you stood with the independence of the judiciary. Many cases were brought against this government the last one year, and you, including the CS, will count them. And you said, let the rule of law take its course. But you came to these people, Your Excellency, just to finish, and you have a social contract with these people. Your manifesto is a social contract. And there's no way another arm of government can derail that social contract that when you reach at the end of the contract, you have nothing to tell the people of Kenya. Universal health care. And I really want, I really want to urge Bishop Dominic, you are very strong stakeholders in our country. We want to hear your voices, you and your Muslim colleagues. We want to hear the voices of the private sector. Because what the president is saying is that we want to make sure each and every Kenyan, whether employed, whether in the streets, he can walk to a nearby clinic or hospital when he is sick and he can get treated. That the millions of Kenyans who have no shelter can have shelter. That is basically what the president is saying. So your excellency, don't run away. You are saying, let us root out the few who are corrupt in the judiciary. There are thousands and hundreds of judges and judicial officers I can bet for who have got very high integrity in our country. But we are dealing with we are dealing with those who are corrupt in the judiciary. Deal with the corruption in the national government. Deal with... In the cabinet, you told us corruption will not be entertained. And we said, yes, sir. You said the same to the PSS. You've told the governors during the, uh, the summit. You told the, the legislature when you make uh, your address. Nobody is... Uh, uh, immune or sacred in this. Sisi tukwa na wewe, na tafadhali usitoke, ata leo ongea juu ya hiyo judiciary. So that the story keeps on going. Thank you, Your Excellency. Pithia Makofi, Honorable Dwale, Your Excellency, I will be very brief. Kwanza, yes, Your Excellency, the first thing I want to say, thank you very much. 